In this lecture, we will learn octal subtraction. The first octal number is 743 and the second octal number is 564. In subtraction, we have to start from the rightmost digit. We have 3 and 4. 3 is smaller than 4, so we have to take borrow from the next position. And uh, when we take borrow, in case of decimal number system, it is 10. When we take borrow in binary number system, we have 2. So this implies when we take borrow in octal number system, it should be 8 because base in case of octal number system is 8. I will magnify this. 7, 4 and 3 are the coefficients. So we can write 7 multiplied by 8 raised to power 2, weight of this position, plus 4 multiplied by 8 raised to power 1, plus 3 multiplied by 8 raised to power 0. And uh, when this 4 gives 1 as borrow, what we have is 1 multiplied by 8 raised to power 1. This position is for 8 raised to power 0. So we have to write this as we have to write this as 8 multiplied by 8 raised to power 0. Very simple. We already had 3 and now we have 8. So 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So borrow is 8 and the number was 3. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. As this 4 has given the borrow, we have 3 now. 3 minus 6. Again, we have to take borrow from the next position. So we have 8 as the borrow and plus 3 will give us 11 again. 11 minus 6 is 5. This 7 has given the borrow. So we are left with 6. 6 minus 5 is simply 1. So the answer is 157. Now we will move to next example. 4 minus 5, we have to take borrow because 4 is smaller than 5. Borrow is 8. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 will now be written as 1. 1 is smaller than 6, so again we have to take borrow. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 and 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. The 6 is now written as 5 because it has given the borrow. 5 minus 2 is simply 3. So 337 is the answer of this octal subtraction. Now we will move to homework problem. I have two homework problems for you. In first homework problem, we have 5, 1, 1, minus 3, 3. And in second homework problem, the first octal number is 6, 0, 0, 0. And we have to subtract 7, 7, 7 from it. So these are the two homework problems. If you have already practiced binary subtraction, then this octal subtraction is very easy for you. If you have any doubt regarding any part, you may ask in the comment section.